Um, editing, again, we have more options to navigate. Alternate state, let's not, uh, it's more advanced stuff, but it's very interesting if you have to compare analysis scenarios. Uh, presentations, this is where it starts to get more interesting and more visual. Okay, so let me just make it bigger. So we can make this chart horizontal or vertical. Okay, we can change the styling and the bar width. Okay, and also use an outline in our bars. Okay, so you can see that if I want to, for example, use a red color, we can do that. Going back, let's just reset all and click here to go back to our chart options. Um, we can, uh, this scroll bar is basically this mini chart. We can change it to a bar or none, okay? As we have many options, uh, like the list is very long, let's just leave it as a mini bar, mini chart. Scroll alignment, if you want to go from start or with the end. So if I just hit OK, we can see that it starts at the, at the end, right? Let's just go back and make it from the start. And grid space lining, grid line spacing, sorry. Uh, basically, these are the lines that we have here in the background. So we can also customize it or make it uh, with no lines, okay? We can display the value labels. Now let's change the colors from this chart. Um, as you saw, we have also a neighborhood group. So we can change the auto function here to, uh, we can select basically with a single color if we want, so let's say that I want to only use a unique color or change it by dimension. So uh, as we have a neighborhood group, let's pick it from here. Okay, so this will be our dimension. Let's color each bar using the neighborhood group column. So there we have it. Neighborhood group will be our label, which is right here. And we can make the persistent colors just to make sure it will not change when we make end selections. So now we can see which neighborhoods are part of the same group. Okay, so if I click here, I will filter Manhattan and I can apply the selection or just cancel the selection. Okay, let's confirm the selection. As you just saw, my selections. Uh, they are all in here, up here, so we can clear all of them if we want. We can click here also to clear one specific selection. We can also select others from this drop down. So now I can see Manhattan and Brooklyn. Okay, let's just clear this one and go back to our vi visual. Let's say that I do not want to color it by the neighborhood group, I want to color it by average price. So we can also use the measure that we have in here or any other measure to go with it. Okay, so now we have a gradient with the average price. Okay, so we have here, let me just expand this chart a bit more so that we have it more clear. Now we have the legend and a gradient scheme color to see the average price. But let's say that we want to analyze the average price and the number of uh, listings in each neighborhood. We can do that by changing this measure, which is the color measure, by counting the IDs that we have. Basically, each ID is one unique listing. So if we do that, let's change the label to number of listings. And we have the legend here, and we can see that we have a darker color in here, so let's just analyze this chart. <coughs> so basically Fort Waster Wadsworth, even though it has a very high price average, it has only one listing, right? And when we look at, for example, 
upper west side, we have mo almost 2,000 2, listings and an average price of uh, 210 to $211, okay? So this is very interesting for us. And as you can see, we have this bluish gradient scheme. We can change not only this, but everything using the, the team from, from the sheet, okay, from the app. So let's say that we want to change the team from this app. We can click here. We come to this settings. And as you can see here in the appearance, we have app team. So this is the sense horizon. We have other options. So click sense classic. So we, it goes from yellow to dark orange or brown. Uh, click sense focus. It's the same color scheme. Breeze and Horizon. Let's stay with the QuickSense Classic. And another very nice option that we have here is the background color from this title. Okay, so we have the options here. We, we can also customize it using this color wheel. But let's pick it from orange to red. So we have a gradient in here, as you can see. And we can change the font color to white so you see here that the title from this sheet that it's my new sheet you just change it to white let's just close this option click here again and there we have it. it's much more visual right now right let's add it again and if i don't select anything uh like i we have here in the left pane the options to edit the sheet. Okay, so let's call this sheet overview. And we can add a thumbnail, so a, an image that will be displayed in the app, uh, in the sheet, actually. And we can change this, the grid spacing. Let's make it narrow. So we, we have more squares here to resize our charts. And Clicking out again, I have again the, the options. So let's say that I want to make this chart very very large, like very high with uh, a very tall. So let's change it by, in the presentation here, make it horizontal. And as you can see, I have the limit here to expand my sheet, but we can change it here in the sheet properties. So clicking out again, uh, I, as you can see, I do not have anything selected. Let's go here in the Extend Sheet option and click here Extend Sheet. So now I can go further with the chart. Okay. So if I hit here Done Editing, I can now scroll down to see more of this chart. 